Peace, Brother Kwame. Sorry for the lateness. Woke up, I had an email that I had to, it was necessary for me to respond to. So, alright, so, in this 21 days, I asked, the, I asked the universe and ancestors to help me with my financial responsibilities and be careful what you ask for, family. <laughs> Man, listen. So I am getting a crash course. A crash course in fi finances right now. So, um, and, 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 and it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? But anytime you ask for something out from the universe, you, you better be damn well ready to get it. So today I want to say great Ujima. Um, we are in the year, one more time, Brother Kwame, what's that year? So I can write it down. Um, we are in the year officially as of yesterday. Um, and we're growing, we're moving. Uh, 62.58. We are officially in the year 62.58. Just celebrated the comedic new year up here in uh, Columbus, Ohio. 6258. So great 6258 to y'all. Um, I want to say peace, love. Um, today's show is going to I'm going to talk about several different topics. Now, let me apologize for last night. Last night, um, I didn't get back in the house to, it was like five minutes to nine, so I really wouldn't have had time to get everything set up the way I like to have it set up so I don't have to worry about anything while I'm doing the show. Um, I try not to do that show like I do this one where I get up, boom, boom, boom. I like to have everything ready for the evening shows, and I wouldn't have had time to get ready. Um, I went to the final ceremony for the comedic new year because I told myself I was gonna make all of this all of the um all of the celebrations this year, which I did. Um and um it was pretty good. Um Elder Tony led us through a ritual man and it was it was nice. It it was real nice. Um got to talk to some people about the school about bringing the kids to the school, um, uh, uh, we did some ritual together. Um, we had a, a group libations. I mean, it was it was tight. It was tight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, on to the next steps for the, the the coming year. Right now, it's time to do the work. So, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about skin in the game. Having some skin in the game. Why it's important to have skin in the game will come from several different perspectives. Right now, um, I'm still on the hero's journey, but right now I'm looking at a lot of African folklore, African American folklore, um, uh, the development of self. Um, and I'm thinking about doing the, uh, the YouTube portion of of the daily toast uh, the daily toast discussion I'm thinking about breaking it down into seasons so I'll cover um, health and fitness on one season or whatever or or just mix it up and just do a, a certain amount of shows because I want to do the toast like we're doing it now on a daily basis for those that want to get up and salute the ancestors because we don't have to do a lot of preparation for that because all we got to do is lift up our glass and say thank you right and it's the ritual of what we're doing that provides the power. But on the discussions, I want to gear it a little bit more towards what some people need. Because some of y'all going to be doing the Goose Saba Challenge. Some of y'all going to be doing different parts of the Goose Saba Challenge. Some of y'all going to be reading some of the material that I have written or some of the material that other people have written. And you're going to want to apply it. Some of you going to have questions. Right? Um, so I'm going to want to respond to that so I can help you get to where you're trying to go. 
because that's the whole purpose of, of, of Giamme, right? You know what I'm saying? We started off as the Underground Railroad, right? Help the people get to the East free, you know what I'm saying? Help you be free yourself, helping you free your mind. You Actually, so now it's, it's intuition, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. Trying to free those up, right? So the whole piece is, so now if I start doing it in chunks, and give you an opportunity to, you know, review some of the stuff. And I got seasons or however I'm going to do it. I haven't decided yet. But we're going to start breaking it down so that you'll be able to find what it is that you need. I mean, it's easier for me to categorize. It's easier for me to be like, well, if somebody has some, a special issue, I'm able to look and say, hey, you go back to uh, this, this specific video or this specific podcast like with my podcast I could tell people well uh, folk tells for grown folks you know what I'm saying if they could tell me um, what they're looking for I could possibly give them a date you know what I'm saying um, or I could tell them a, a, a folk tale to go to like because all the folk tales I got them categorized with one of the uh, with one of the principles right so good morning Mr. Shonda Jones um, so we're going to just go and drink our water. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's go and get up. We got to get that out shape for them. I tried to do 32 ounces. Y'all see I'm slumming today. I got the purifier here. I don't know what it's purified from. For all I know, they got it from a radioact radioactive uh, reactor somewhere. Come on, drink that water. Get you some good water. You already, hopefully you already took some breaths. Only four things you need in this world. Proper breathing to stay healthy. Proper breathing, proper water, proper food, proper movement. All of them culturally appropriate, right? Culturally appropriate, all right? So this is my 16. Right now, I'm on the Roliola. I'm almost done. Y'all started with this with me. It's called the Golden Root. Check it out. I'm gonna give y'all a little review on it. I'm just telling y'all right now. I don't even got too much to say about it because I haven't felt any of the effects. You know what I'm saying? That I know of. So, doing it. Oh yeah, fam. I had a crazy dream last night. I had a dream about the eclipse right I mean it wasn't it wasn't it was kind of spooky but it wasn't like a apocalyptic at least I don't think so and shit you know what I'm saying but it did get dark and it happened early so um yeah what's the date for uh August 21st August 21st, I will be starting a fast, hold on, for these type of events, I suggest, fam, do some type of personal ritual, or, or as a group, some of us get together and do some type of ritual, you know, of course, um, fasting is always good, help prepare your system for any changes, I'm going to be starting a fast, um, on the twentieth, the twentieth, all the way through till nine p.m. on the twenty-second. So I'm gonna fast all the way through it. Um, get my body and my mind ready so I could be very receptive. So y'all get ready, y'all get ready for it, right? You know what I'm saying? These these celestial events, we need to really, really start trying to harness that energy, right? 
I mean, even all the way down to the moon cycles, because we know that these cycles affect us as human beings. So now, let's learn how to start directing them so that we can get all of the benefits from them. All right? Come on, drink that water up so we get this toast on. That's 24 ounces. Mm. Mm. There we go. All right. I want to say great Jima to everybody that's here. Uh, today is a day of collective work and responsibility. Grit, which, which is why I didn't have my show yesterday because basically Elder Tony was running us through some rituals dealing with collective work and responsibility. Um, the modic principle that we're going to be covering today is righteousness. Um, the principle on the um, um, Millennium 7. The goals with the day is respect. The color is blue. The hermetic law that goes for the day is vibration. Male name, if you was born on Ujima, is Kwaku. If you was born um, as a female on the day, the day will be a Kua. We are for the Wolof. For those that don't know, that's a, a group in um, in uh, West Africa. That's Yar. Today is your politeness and respect, particularly towards your elders, the Khan ethics, obedience and respect, and in Yoruba, traditional Yoruba attributes of good character. Today will be Uluti, teachability. Right? Let's go. On. So I, I give you a, a, a whole slew of principles that you can look up, that you can work with during the day. Let's do our toast. Of course, I'm gonna mix a little bit of that vinegar in. Cause I ain't got that much ambrosia yet, yet left. Got a while to go before I brew again. I'm not gonna be brewing into the 15th. I'm gonna let some of this heat go away, even though the heat is good for the ambrosia. Uh, so here we go. First, give an honor to the Creator by whatever name you choose to call that Creator. We lift up our glass, we toast that Creator, and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We lift up our glass to all those who made it possible for us to be who we are today. We give thanks. We give thanks for the crystallized wisdom that they have shared with us in the form of folk tales, in the form of proverbs, in the form of recipes. In the form of wise sayings, in the form of myths and legends, we give honor to our ancestors. You know what I'm saying? We lift up our glass and we remember all of the wisdom that they shared with us. We remember all of the hard times that we went through with them. I like doing my big glass. Remember all the hard times that we went through with them. We even remember some of those ancestors that gave us a hard time. Right, so we lift up our glass to each and every last one of them. When we ask, bring them out, 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 bring them out. Now, at this point in time, for those that are new, right here is where you call on your own ancestors, your personal ancestors, right? So we salute those individuals who made it possible for us to be who we are today, who laid the foundation for us, who gave us our, in a sense, for lack of a better term, the program that is us. Right, the ones that help build up our ego and sometimes even help crush it when it needed to be crushed. Right, those that taught us the things that we know how to do from tying our shoes to combing our hair, from we're getting up in the morning and doing our daily routine so that we get our day started, all the way to how we handle ourselves when it's time for us to shut down. We salute those ancestors, the ones that took us time, that took time to educate us and to help us grow. Right. So we toast them. So I'm going to call my personal ancestors. I ask you to call on yours. All right. Miles Brown, Mazan, Robert and Texana Davis, Hunter Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, uh, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, 
Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, uh, Cecil Ellis, um, Alvira Brown, Katie Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, um, uh, Barbara Twiggs, Gina Gaines, Katie Ellis, uh, John Fillard, Jeremiah Tappan, Jamon Jones, Jamon Jones, um, Jamon Jones, Montague Pittman L, uh, Mama Malika, Dr. Marianne Williams, Elder Harrison, Elder Donaldson, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Normal X, a pet my Ra. Um, if you have any uh, out there that you want me to shout out, I see my daughter Keisha Lane is up on the screen. Good morning, baby. How you doing? All right. This is the time you ask your ancestors for what you want. Call on your ancestors, right? Um, Mark Walsh. Tony Clark, we lift up our glass, we say our shay, right. from there we move to this moment, right now we already spoke about it, we are in Ujima, right now today is Ujima, and we're going to be looking for that energy today, we lift up our glass, we say our shay, from here we move to um, our children, we lift up our children, we toast our children, right, we salute our children now so that they will one day salute us, so we lift up our glass and we say, I shade because we are responsible for them from now until, you know what I'm saying? Everything that we're building now will affect them until infinity, right? So at least for the next seven generations, we know we got to handle our business. So we lift up our glass and we say, I shade. From there, we move to you. I toast you. Any special concerns that you have, any things that you need to happen, that you need to happen in your life. You know what I'm saying? We lift up our glass. We ask our ancestors. We ask our creator to bless you. And with that, we say, Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years. Speaking of peace, power, and joy, I want to remind everybody that this Friday. Oh, that's push ups. Damn. All right. For those that don't know, when I, when I say. The West Asian method of keeping a date, you know, family. <laughs> when I say that, I got to do push-ups. So I'm going to do the push-ups after I get off the screen with you. Um, all right. Let me send this invite out. All right. So we got Brother Wakesa coming. He will be at the Millennium Community School Friday, Friday. Oh, damn. That's 14. All right. I'm going to knock him out. Peace, power, and joy for Nia. Push-ups, push-ups, push ups, push ups, put yes, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna do the push ups. I'm I'm gonna do them before before I get off for the job. So you could be happy, Kwame, because I know you're over there giggling, man. That's cool. Um uh, but brother, while case will be here on Nia, August eleventh at seven PM, that session will be free. Um he's gonna be talking about injected racial scripts, um, countering the instructional design of racism and I take blackness. Now don't be put don't be put off by the words, family, right? This is gonna be a powerful workshop. Um and on on Kaumba or uh Friday uh, on August the twelfth, that's twenty eight push ups. On August the twelfth, right? On August the twelfth, he will be doing a session and this session will be ninety nine dollars. Right? You're gonna be doing it from ten to six PM. We're gonna be working hard. And um, he's going to give us some practical exercises, some practical things we could do um, to deal with some of the emotions that we have. Because a lot of us have emotional problems that we don't properly deal with, right? So um, let me go and pin that comment up and, 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 you know, so that the world can see that I owe push-ups. All right, um, so all this will be going down this week. So, family, I hope to see you there. Um, so we toast. We say our shay.
I'm slumming today. Don't have no. Don't have no fruit. And last time I did, I damn near cut my finger off. So, and that's how it goes now. All right, let me do these push-ups, and I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh, Y'all get to see an old man struggle. All right, brother Kwame, I'm doing push-ups in front of the screen. Moja, Kuchi Jaglia, Ujima, Ujama, Ujima, Nia, Kumba, Imani. One set. Moja, Kujagalia, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kumba, Imani, two sets. Moja, Kujagalia, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kumba, Imani, three sets. Moja, Kujagalia, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kumba, Imani. Ah. So, family, peace.